Super excited. Na excited. Meron talagang ano, meron talagang lala, lala, diba? lala. Of course. Diba? Para lang maalala ninyo, for those of you who have attended all our trainings, yan yung aming parang national anthem. So, hello to everyone. First. Oh, yes. Dimelay, nagdimelay. Oh, pwede yan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, muna. hello to the earliest bird, si Kevin. As always, yeah. And again, it's another si Mabel, Mommy Babes, we miss you so much. And people from Stratworks, hello, thank hello, you. Hello, Stratworks. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, and also, si Ana Castro, Missing My Train Station family. <laughs> yes, of course, we miss you all. What's ah. happening, well, Gerald? Uh, he loves the opening music. Of, of course, course, of, of course. course. Oh my God, siguro mga ilang years na yan na pinatutugtog mga. Mm-hmm. Almost 20 years of my existence that tumutog tong yung hagibis na yan. Uh, Glory, of course, is watching. Oh my goodness. So, there's uh, a lot more people coming in. I'm so excited. Hello, thank you so much. Hi, Chip. So, today we are going to talk about something interesting. And I believe a lot of uh, our clients, also our partners, are trying to get online, to go on Facebook Live to see this this actual. Um, uh, telecast? Ano ba tawag dito? Tele- hindi siya telecast. It's a live it's a tele- stream. Live streaming. Live streaming, yes. Sorry, 80s kasi, di ba? Telecast. But live. Oh, but hi exactly. daw from uh, Natra Farm. Well, hello, Natra Farm. Thank yeah. you. Um, hi, Sh- Sir Wynn. Yeah. Yes, we are also, we have encouraged a lot of our clients to go online because this is also our way of supporting them. So I think FSFC for standard. Thank you so much. I uh, see Jacqueline Tan is uh, forwarding this. We also miss you, Jacqueline leaders. Carlo. We miss you. Um, we also have people in Cytel forwarding it to their team. We have people in BXI uh, forwarding this to their team. So hindi ko alam kung dadami talaga to ng over. I think Concentrics Sana. also. Concentrics din ba will forward this. But uh, I believe, you know, that Cytel and BXI, they've been very passionate about supporting this. So, you know, to these BPOs who would want to take care of their people, they're sending this these um, uh, live uh Streams, streams to their people so that there's also a way for them to um, learn some more to get nurtured further and because there are training partners they don't know also how we've been doing our training may uh, medyo magkapareho na rin kami ng language but thank you so much for those of you who are coming in palang who are uh, just joining us for the first time seeing us for the first time thank you uh, please stay tuned because we're going to talk about uh, leadership at the time of this crisis, of yeah. this COVID crisis. And dami kasi, and dami, I mean, you schedule natin for the month, dapat puno. No? Yes. But yes. Uh, since hindi natuloy, because may social distancing na naganap, uh, I'm sure people are still longing to uh, learn a lot of things, and especially to get more resources now. Mm-hmm. Dahil sa ganitong, again, unprecedented tong event na to, yes. um, people don't know how to uh, cope with the things that they're faced with, even leaders, actually, yun nga, even us as leaders, no? Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, we were stretched and said, parang, oh my God, how do we communicate this? How do we uh, assure our people that, you know, there's something after this lockdown? Uh, sige, let's start with that. How important is it, Karen? Uh Let me just give a shout out to VXI, tama yeah. nga, VXI represent. Yeah, VXI, think, hi. You know what, I think VXI has around, what, 16,000, 18,000 employees? Yeah. And, and we, we, uh, we're supposed we did training for them when they were just about, what? My God, 4,000? No, uh, no? Yeah, and then, and then, at the very start. At the very right. start, oh. So anyway, um, it's very important. Hi, it's Miss Hides. Hi, Miss Hides. Miss Hides, hello. So, hello. 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 Thousand employees in the country. I hope that a lot of people get to see this. Hello, Karel and RR. Great to see you again. Albeit virtually. Yes, Miss Heights. And I know that there are plans as well for a lot of these partner clients of ours. We wanted to do more leadership events, leadership camps. We have a, a lot of these training programs in store. Pero hindi siya matuloy tuloy because of this lockdown. So, yeah, and si Ron also from the XI. And dami. Yes, yes. So, all of these people from all over, I hope um we can reach as many people today because we are at the forefront. Leaders are at the forefront of communication. Our people 
all over the country, if you have people all over the country, if you have a, a, a group of people in your department, kahit apat lang yan, kahit lima yan, kahit sampu, kahit 30 or 100, there's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. Um, and that's the first thing, even before the lockdown happened, when coronavirus started to spread, and uh, we would have clients already. Like I, I think with our training in Saitel, there were a lot of participants who were not able to travel to the Philippines, and it's a regional training. And it's because already of the virus, people were already not um, flying at that point. So we were already projecting that something like this might happen, especially with the other countries going on lockdown. So when we started meeting, the first concern and pain, and I believe leaders, all of you out there, you've experienced pain, right? I'm sure there were challenges, there were there was pain, there's like, what's gonna happen? Uncertainty, yun eh. Oh, oh, and, and OVX I about them in Jajaan. So when we're talking about uncertainty, you don't know what's going to be given to you by your bosses. Yeah. You don't know what's going to be the direction of the leadership. And your job as a boss, as a manager, as a leader is to cascade it downwards. But how do you cascade when you also don't know the information? Um, so that's the first thing. And if you are the owner, you're the president, you're in the top tier of the business yeah. uh, of that organization, the concern is, and dami, and dami. Actually, you know, survival. You think about every employee. Every employee now does not become just a number, but a human being who's going to be affected by all this. So as we go through all of these challenges, um, how do you communicate? So question, ito, the thing that we are going to talk about today, uh, is this more of like, uh, this is a question for you, no? This is more of like tips for the owners or for the like employees? This is going to cover all. Okay. Um, there are tips for employees. There are te- tips. Talaga, sorry guys. Diba? <laughs> tips. French tips. There are tips for managers. There are tips for... First standard leaders. represent yes, Hijacky. Yes, Hijacky, our partner. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so um, there are tips for people in possession. And a while ago, earlier today, actually, uh, friends of ours, partners of ours, were on a Go Negosho live stream as well. Yeah. And Bernie Liu, the owner of Pen Shop, was actually there. And they're talking about how leaders can either be agile in this, how they can change and transform their product or their service delivery so that they can adapt. Although, iba yun, I mean, sure, they can be agile, they can be resilient. But if it's not communicated well, yes, delicado rin yun. Delicado. So, sure, may gumagawa na nun, and we'd like to focus on how to communicate that uh, to your people. Yes, because a, even if your leadership would have plans or the bosses would have plans, yeah. if the buck ends with you and you don't know how to communicate that with your people, magkakaroon pa rin ng uncertainty. If you are the leader and you are not transparent as well in communicating and you don't know how to communicate it to your people, you're going to create a lot more turmoil and panic in an organization when meron ng panic ha, meron na tayong COVID scenario. So, so how do you do that? Kasi ikaw din, as a leader, diba, you need to be able to assure your people, you need to be able to give that certainty. Yes. Eh, ikaw mismo, as a leader, you don't know what's going to happen yet. I mean, yes. again, this is unprecedented. Oh, definitely. Um, you don't know what to do. I mean, as a leader, you still need to research. Sometimes you talk to other leaders as well, yes. what they're doing, share best practices. But yes. how do you do that? Wanna parang... Maybe I can also ask the audience right now to just type in oh. their comments. I think there are people there now. Oh, Sarangel, all Sarangel. the way from Palau. That's Hello. our client from Palau and partner. partners. Hello. Yeah. Um, Hi. So, um, nice to see you. Wait, from Danica, meron din si Danica, Nicole de la Cruz. Nice to see you again, Ms. Karel. Uh, it's been cars. years. Yes, we have cars. Okay, so we have so many people out there um, uh, who have ideas. What are your ideas? What's been bothering you? What bothered you? Uh, Again, if you have questions, yeah. just post it here and then we will also post it online. Yes, because the, the concern was the first, I believe the first two weeks was crazy. It was crazy, especially in the first week when this was announced. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of the leaders I know, even you know our partners, were scampering about thinking what to do. What do we do now, right? So maybe I could just proceed with with my talks. Wait, um, talk, okay. but then again, if you have ideas and you have concerns and your own grievances and your own personal experiences of what happened with your leadership, with your management during this entire thing, we would welcome them. So before that, a shout out muna tayo watching from Binangon and Rizal. Si Lords. 
And another one, si Dina. Dina is uh, was our uh, participant sa Shell. Shell, yes, I, I, partners I. from Shell also. So let's let's proceed if that's okay. Um, I would like to go through the learning experience right now. So I believe that we are stewards. Leaders are stewards. Um, okay. We're not just placed there in possession and you just wait and see what's gonna happen. You know, we are given gifts. And we are given talents and we are given resources and i believe that god gave us people as our you know as uh, to be stewards, to be stewards of, yeah. because you know we take care of them we're accountable to them as well and how do you communicate is very important to these people you're accountable to uh hindi pwedeng um ano lang um ito na yung message eh. sorry ito na talaga eh. sorry lockdown tayo <laughs> First, uh, first leave or work from home or no work, no pay. Goodbye, guys. You know? I don't know about you, pero parang I've always felt like uh, a leader, naman. But lalo na nung nangyari yung itong lockdown na to, you work from home all of a sudden. No, the burden of being a leader must not be siya. Hindi lang work from home. How do you tell people forced leave? Yon. How do you tell people no work, no pay? How do you take care of people? na nagwo-work pa or papasok pa at this time and i know Cytel, VXI, almost all our clients from the BPO industries um nagpupunta pa rin yung mga employees nila at and work and they sleep there they sleep, they sleep there. there they oh. take care of each other there so how do you now communicate with them and i know sometimes communication gets broken down sometimes people will post on facebook and even tag me and say oh look at how my boss is communicating with me oh my gosh it's 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 really sad kasi Lahat na nga tayo, kumbaga, we have the burden of this coronavirus and uh, the burden of taking care of ourselves and making sure that we survive this. Our supplies are limited. And then at the same time, we have to think of how do we communicate to each other, taking care of our God-given gifts, of our God-given resources, of all these talents and all these people that, that, are, that have been given to Again, us. Again, sabi with great power. Comes great, comes great responsibility, responsibility and it's very true yes okay. watching uh, from Kaloocan VXI watching so, from VXI MOA VXI <laughs> MOA and then um, yes wow oh, from Justin Justin Vera it's been wow. a dream come true to listen and hear from you both since I've only followed you in FP. wow thank Hi. you thank you and then of course uh, oh wow John pa- Paolo Sandra, um, yes. Kaparos. Malabo na yung mata ko, guys. Leader in communication. <laughs> yes. So, let's talk about how do we become better leaders as we communicate. Sige, let's start. Okay? So, let's talk about the challenges. What are these challenges? Unang-una, pwede bang makita ko yan? Survival. Survival of your business. We, as leaders... First things first, no? First things first, eh. You look at your numbers. You look at your financial statement. You look... That's what... You know, business owners had to go through. That's what they did. That's what they we had, did. What, that's what we that's did. What we did. <laughs> Yung talaga tinignan namin, how long will we survive? How long right. can we survive oh. this? Again, just a tip for the leaders. No? Pero kami ginawang ganyan, how long we will survive, no? But the thing is, we also accounted for receivables. Mm-hmm. So again, nung nag-lockdown, all of a sudden, the question is, how do we collect now? So even that, we can't rely on that. Uh, so another agile. tip. Another yeah. tip is... Uh, Look at your cash. Yeah, look your at cash your cash position. Talaga yan. And that's for the owners and the leaders. Now, a lot of managers, you will just be recipients of this information that, okay, everybody, you have to tell everyone that it's work from home or forced leave or no work, no pay. How do you communicate that when you don't know the cash position, you don't know the survival, uh, all of these things, how it's getting affected? So it's very important for us as leaders to know how is our company survival going to get affected in this? Number two, how is our company's profitability getting affected in this? If I don't know, then I don't know what to communicate. If we're not going to be profitable in the next three months, in the next six months, in the next year even, if it's going to be very difficult, how do I communicate this to my people? Number three is people. Actually, people. question yan. Yes. Um, a lot of people will say, no, bakit hindi tao muna, the people first? Uh, I mean, this is uh, not necessarily in order. Ako naman, I have an answer to that. Because like, kasi kung tao muna, diba, you need to look at the company first because the company needs to survive to be able to help the people. Of course. Diba? Kasi the employees that you have, nakasandal yan sa company mo. Yan yung, that's what parang making them live. Sabi Kab- kabuhayan nga nga. That's, that's what it means. Sabi nga ni Chairman Jamga sa Itaewon class. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Lumalabas na yung K-drama namin, guys. Ang sabi niya, if there's no business, there's no people to take care of. How can you take care of your people if there's if your company I think that's a constant struggle also, no? Uh, of the, the, the leaders. Of course, you want to give everything to your people. Uh, gusto mong matulungan sila. And if you had the cash, of course, why not? Yes. The thing is also, hindi naman pwedeng yung tao lang because a lot of people are depending on this. Yes. Right? Yes. So, I, I think as a leader, it's your responsibility to keep the company afloat first so that you can do more for the people. Yeah, and as we go down the line and leadership, how do we keep ourselves afloat? How do we make our people buoyant in this? Everyone is drowning in their own concerns and in their own problems. So how do we keep everyone just buoyant or at least above water and breathe? I, I remember, think that's important. I remember like the first thing that we took out, no? Uh, we had to take out all of the parang secondary expenses. Kalaga, oh, sige, you rent, wala tayo magagawa dyan. Utilities, wala tayo magagawa dyan. Oh, let's take out the budget for Christmas party. Christmas party. Sige, tanggalin kasi uh, naka-appropriate uh, naman yun. Sige, tanggalin muna natin yan. Ano uh, pa ba yung budget, natin yung budget natin? for training. Tanggalin muna natin yung budget for uh, yung internal marketing. Trainings, yeah. Internal training sa amin. Tanggalin natin yung budget for marketing. So, we had to be more creative and agile and look for ways we're in you know, to, we, to prolong, the, prolong the lifespan no, of yeah. not being able to collect and not being able to have a uh, life chain. So now, because of all of that uncertainty, we don't know how long, how fast we will recover. And I'm sure a lot of you are experiencing that. Um, well, thank you. Uh, mer- meron tayong ano pa daming, na? Daming. Meron mga nag-comment. Um, shout out lang from Insurance Commission. Wait lang. Wow, my CIV. last, si Mary Frosses. My last train, train station workshop was eight, eight years, years ago. ago. Uh, Grabe, no? Love the reference. Love the reference. Love the though. reference. I love the... <laughs> Itay one for the way. Itay one, yes. And Chloe. Mama, Chloe. Gagamitin natin Nami si Chloe. Namimiss na namin yung Chloe na yun. Crash landing on you. So, how to communicate with people? There has been a study that's been done by Gallup. Okay. And um, I love Gallup because they're a polling company. We're also partners with Gallup. They have data. Strengths Finder. Yeah. yeah, so they have data. And they've uh, done research on thousands of people. Actually, uh, they have a data of like millions already on client engagement, employee engagement, all of that. So one of their studies talked about what is needed in crisis right now and what kinds of leadership are being sought for by the people during crisis. So this is leadership in crisis. Uh, sorry, leadership in a crisis situation. What kinds of leaders are people looking for? So if we're going to look at that, there are four things that people are looking for okay. in crisis. And the four would be compassion, stability, trust, and hope. Hope and inspiration. Hope for the future. So those are the four things that people need right now from a leader. So let's break it down. I want I want breaking things down. Of Even course. if Gallup says this and they just say, oh, you need to be compassionate. You have to have stability. How? You need to be able to have trust and have hope. Be hopeful. So let's talk about compassion. We have a lot of numbers because when you receive information from your top management or if your top management is well, you you will have a lot of numbers. And a lot of people do not understand what those numbers are. They might not understand. I mean, um, as kind as you are and as good as you are, a lot of people do not understand these things. So we have to be able to communicate with compassion. Very important. To understand that not everyone gets it. Okay. And to understand that people will all have their own thing. But there are two things that I have there. Okay. It's self-compassion and compassion for others. As a leader, hindi pwede rin naman na, like, especially if you're top management, hindi rin naman pwede na talagang it's at the point wherein you bleed to death yeah. just to be able to help. Although, that's what's happening right now. We're bleeding. A lot of owners, a lot of business owners, which a lot of managers don't know about, a lot of people in position supervisors don't know about, your organization is bleeding. So, especially us as a small SME, we're an SME, um, a lot of businesses had to bleed so that they get to pay for for sleeves and work from home. Not everyone has that budget. Not everyone. There are a lot of companies already, SMEs, and yeah. uh, some of my friends who are business owners, they already close, no? Yes, yes. Um, kasi they have clients even from abroad. They stop getting uh, work from the Philippines and their suppliers cannot deliver and all sorts of things. So yes, yes. everybody's bleeding right now and sabi nga nila, there's a global recession coming up. No? That's right. So how do we, how do you now have compassion first and foremost 
for yourself and your people. Now, why self-compassion? You have to check. Am I okay? Am I okay first in this? How am I? Because my own sanity, my own, um, my own well-being has to be considered first. Because if you don't have self-compassion, how can you be compassionate to others? It's so difficult to be compassionate with others without self-compassion. Does it happen na kunwari, you are okay? And the more you become compassionate to others, ikaw rin nauubos ka? Pwede. Pwede. Hmm. Pwede. Uh, a lot so it, what you mean to say is, it has to be constant. Yeah. Yeah, you have to constantly nurture also your own um, and, and this what, yourself. Yeah, and that's what I talked about in the first um, live that we episode yeah. that we had streaming. I talked about mental um, uh, mental health or having a healthier mind. So if we talk about that and um, being able to manage that, because you need to do that for yourself and be able to know if you're able to do that for other people too. So. Um, important you self-compassion you know because a lot of people a lot of business owners have been saying to me how's how's this how's this na nga paano na wala na talaga akong ibibigay wala na akong ilalabas and i i've told this to our people train station you know this i said if i'm as rich as ayala and mr ang and um, you know mr c all of them are our clients thank you <laughs> but if we are only as rich as they are with deep pockets as they are as you know formidable businesses as, as they have you know we will do the same we will give so much and i'm sure all our partners were doing that also a lot of our partners are doing that for their people mm. because they're huge they're big they have all of these things set aside but then again question yes question na ako, sabi mo kasi compassion for yourself mm-hmm. so how do you know na parang you're enough parang you're taking care of yourself or you're not enough you're not really Cool yet? How do we know that? You you would know. You would know if you check and just uh, be still and just ask that question. Am I okay? Am I okay in this? And a lot of people's answers would be, No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. How do we deal with this? How can I take care of you now? It's uh, a, a different uh, behavior all of a sudden. Is that a sign? What are the manifestations? And can that be a sign of you not being compassionate to yourself? See, yeah. Well, I actually have a, an episode. Again. On Friday, Am it's I all about that. Yes, you're preempting <laughs> overwhelm, panic, you know, yeah, depression, okay. and all of that. But it, it's a simple sign. Like I was, I was supposed to say, if you just ask yourself, "Am I okay with this?" I'm not. Why? What's happening? Where's it coming from? You're not prepared. You don't have enough groceries. You don't have enough savings. You have elderly parents. You have brothers and sisters that you need to take care of. You, your, your nephew is still going to work because he's a health. A medical health worker you know you have all of these things in your head that at the same, at the same time, time <laughs> at the same time that yes. all of this is happening so you just have to go wait okay what can i handle what can i take care of you know okay. what can i deal with right now okay i need time also for myself i need to sleep i need to i need to be able to meditate i need to be able to pray oh god please pray you know that's very important at this point and you know what sometimes i'm breathing Mm-hmm. Just breathing, no? just the simple yeah. act of breathing. Sometimes, because as leaders, but again, mm-hmm. these are all of the things that are going on, you know? mm-hmm. and you just forget how to breathe. Exactly. Shout out, Olets oh, Vibe Studios, our yeah. partners, a shell. And yes, just hi. Say, ah, Augusta does. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So now, if we talk about co- self compassion and compassion for others, now when you communicate, see them as human beings. Again, going back to they're not employee one zero two one zero three. No, it's not. They have their families, they have things to take care of. You know, when we communicated in our organization, we're not as big as others, but when we communicated, we had to identify each and every individual because we're like, each person needs this. Walang mas may kailangan sa isa. Some of our people in our in our office, they don't come from rich backgrounds. They need money. We have parents with special needs kids. We have, you know... Uh, a, a dad who's about to, uh, a person who's about to become a dad. You know, we have people who are in a community right now na meron na silang 45 COVID cases in their area alone. And because they live in a community na, na, na um, 
impoverished. Hindi sila yung mayayaman ng communities. Hindi sila nasa subdivision. So, compassion is seeing people, seeing human beings beyond just the number. And how do you communicate that? They are also lost. They are also scared. So, we have a, we, I actually have a framework. I have a, okay. a framework later to teach them how to communicate this way. All right. Okay. So, let's move on. How about stability? Stability. You have to have leadership stability and, of course, company stability. People need that. So, what does it mean? Stable ka ba? <laughs> emotionally stable, mentally stable. But yeah, I, I want to pinpoint you emotionally stable because if you're in a state of panic, your people feel the panic. If you're in a state of panic and you're like, ano, hindi talaga, ano ko na mayayari na sa atin dito, Lord? Ano? Lord, wag mo, yun, ano? Kung ganyan ka, just like, ano mo mag-communicate sa mga tao, mababaliw din sila sa inyo. Um, they, they will probably lose, you know, their composure. They will feel the instability. Company stability is also important. Um, that's why go to your books, look at them. Hindi rin pwedeng bigay, bigay, bigay para mag-shutdown tayo in the next three months. Hindi pwedeng ganon. Important yun. Um, give up to what uh, level? How do we change our product? How do we change our delivery methods so that we can be stable again after this? Um, for me, being stable is also okay lang maging hindi stable again if it's you're faced with a... Uh, a situation that's unprecedented, no? like this one. Talagang, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, again, ito, one month lang to. We don't know if it will extend. Hindi natin alam. So, um, seek out, like, seek help from others. Yes. It's okay. Even yes. as leaders. Like, ako, I would suggest talking to your people. I mean, they're in Are that... Are you okay? They're okay. in that department. They know things better. And as a leader, sila yung day-to-day sila yung katapat ng mga processes na yan, talk to them. Yeah. What will this mean to your department? What will this mean to your people? Mm-hmm. Will this uh, affect them? Yes. Ako, I always also like consult other leaders in the industry or even outside of my industry, uh, outside of our industry. Because again, excellence leaves clues. There are other things aside from another industry you can pull it uh, and use it in your industry, you'll never know. Mm-hmm. Explore. I think now's the time to explore. Mm-hmm. Be creative. Be out of the box. Yeah. Diba? So, yeah. And, and also, if you're a middle manager or you're in that position where you're in the center of it or in the middle of it, hindi rin ibig sabihin that your company is so stable. Oh, we have so much money. Oh, okay. Dapat lang naman that the company gives us this. It's not that. But, you know, it's 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 that it it's, it cannot be that kind of mindset because the little sacrifices that we also make right now, like a little bit of tightening of the belts, and you all know this, especially the the managers in the middle, a little bit of the tightening of the belts and a little bit of mindfulness in our resources can stretch our company stability in the long run. So, like, how can I uh, lessen this? Because a lot of people, there's a sense of entitlement. Oh, wala na akong ganitong benefit. Paano na yung representation fee? Paano na yung transportation fee, yung, tra- yung representation allowance? Wala na akong ganito. If we can cut a little bit here and there, too, this is already your, you know, sacrifice, fighting with and for your company survival. So, I think it's also not to be the initiator of conversation na nega sa tao na dapat kasi yung company nagbibigay pa ng additional benefits ngayon. At ikaw pa yung promotor nun. Although, ano yun, valid yun. Ha? When valid, you hear valid, that valid. From, from your people, I think it's very important that you acknowledge that. Yeah. Gets kita. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, if we were not in this situation, sure, I would push for that. And we're in this situation where the end, we need to tighten our belts. And alam mo yun, it's really how you communicate. Have that communication open. Let me let me correct that. It is okay. not your people telling you what the company should be doing for them because this is bitching up. I'm talking about bitching down. Oh, you don't okay. bitch down. Never. Can I see that? It's my Facebook. <laughs> you don't you don't bitch down uh, because if you complain downwards, imagine that. The effect of the that. Effect that is also a ripple effect. You have such strong influence. So, if possible, avoid bitching down. Let people bitch up. That's that's how you know their feedback. And how do you now communicate back oh, to them? From one leader, uh, from Jackie, this is very mm-hmm. nice. So, sacrifice a little for all to benefit and help everyone. Exactly. Exactly. And Jackie and I, she's our, she's actually our partner and, you know, the brains behind our finances. FSFC has been our partner for so many years. The reason why we have this in input is because of Jackie. Also. Yeah. And Jackie is like when when we're thinking strategizing how do we survive after 
after this, mm -hmm. where's our direction? Because we, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed. Train station is blessed to be in a business and in a job that can be translated online. We can yeah. do this. Our other businesses cannot. They cannot do business yeah. like this online, you know, they cannot. And some of them will not be able to survive this. So when Jackie and I and our, our and of course our general Gee. manager, Pinky, we're talking about this, it's really uh, even the choices. Guys, what is the more economical choice? What is a better option? Kumbaga, di sing mahal. Sing ganda. Ah, sing ganda, pero, pero di sing mahal. mahal. So, motto in life. <laughs> meron ba tayong gagagawang ganun? A little sacrifice so that it can benefit more. Yeah. Um, a lot of, uh, in our leadership, let me just share this, but in our mancom, there were leaders who okay. already opted for a pay cut. They volunteered for a pay cut. It's not going to be asked from anybody. We didn't ask anyone. They volunteered themselves to get a pay cut. That's something that they could do. We are a small organization. The mancom was able to do that um, so that we can help. Na itong maliit na to, na maliit na percentage na pay cut na tinake ng mga leaders can extend in giving a little more to the other people in the organization who needs it the most at this time. Although, again, you know, if hindi naman magbigay yung iba, hindi magpakipay cut, I, we don't know what's going on eh. Sa, sa buhay nila, I mean, if there are uh, families that they're supporting as well, I mean, we don't know that. So, pinaghirapan nila yung kita rin nila. So, it's good lang that in our, in our organization, there were people who, uh, who did that, yes, who were willing yes. to do that. So, again, going back to the first item, okay. if you're going to communicate stability or yes. instability, it has to be done with compassion. Compassion. Again, human being. Um, amidst this, let me just give an example. I had, I, we had very good communication. Uh, I and we were in tears actually with the reception of people when we started communicating with our own team. People were grateful, saying thank you for what we're doing. Um, and I guess it's very important that nakita namin yung ganong feedback. Na iyak talaga kami as management to see our people responding that way. Na we're here for you, we're fighting for you guys, we're, we're warriors together. So it was so moving because we also saw them first. We we were thinking of the company's survival for them. We, they know that we truly care about um, them individually. Um, but there was an employee. There was, mm. We had an employee, um, in a name, uh, and, and there, this is not a problem, this is not a concern, but an employee started saying, ano pa po ba magagawa ninyo? Ano pa po ba ang magagawa ninyo ano para sa amin? Ano pa ang itutulong ninyo? And I got that message. Of course, at first, people receiving a message in all caps, asking that on text message, <laughs> you'll be taken aback. Yeah. But I said, Guys, this person has a kid, and you know, a baby, a newborn child. May sakit pa. May sakit pa. Yeah. Bagong pasok pa siya. You know, he's not yet a month in the organization. So, yes, we get it. So, in terms of that, again, it's going back to humanity. Tao siya eh. Kailangan niya eh. Ano kailangan? Ano ngayon na magagawa natin to address this need? Now, Meron ding tulong na mabibigay, like dole, meron mga ganyan. How do you communicate now mm. these things? Uh, yung compensation na ibibigay at itutulong ni dole. Um, kaya ba ng company ninyong i-advance yung dole? It's financial support and the health. Kasi yung iba, sabi ng dole daw, i-advance uh, daw ng company. So, Gee, it's not ganyan. clear because there were some uh, parang documents na nagsasabi, diretso yan sa uh, employee, may iba naman na da dadaan to the company. So, Kami, we opted to just uh, give the employee first and then we will reimburse. Yeah. There's, a good, there's a very, very good question uh, from April. Sabi niya, I'm interested in how we should communicate back to our people when an employee is bitching up, demanding a lot during this situation. Thanks, Train Station. Okay, we'll answer that. I'll answer that in a little bit. Okay, April, um, there is a way that I would communicate. Um, I, I trust in frameworks. Okay. A framework is a script. And for me, a script with compassion, not just a script na, I hear you, I know how you feel. Yeah, it's not that. But a script is a guide so that it keeps your brain on track on what you should cover. So, this is next thing that I would like to talk about. So, what do you want to say? Para stay tuned. Okay. There's more. Again. But wait, there's but more. But wait, there's more. We have a framework. <laughs> 
and it's for free. Yay! So if we're going to talk about trust, um, again, Gallup says people need to trust their leader. But now the leader needs to trust himself. Self-trust. A leader needs to be able to establish others' trust. There should be an organizational trust. There should be a client trust as well. And you have to have societal trust. Now, I see a lot of organizations now gaining societal trust because they're doing a lot of good. Yeah. Like what San Miguel is doing, like what SM is doing. Hello, SM. Um, like <laughs> what in San Miguel, oh, nga pala clients natin. Um, like what um, the, the different huge, small organizations are now doing. And it's getting posted on media or on social media, gaining societal trust. <clears throat> or not for profit at all, but we just want to do something for the world that gains societal trust. Yeah. Now, your client trust is like, okay, after this, clients will still go back to you because they trust you. Clients will still um, depend on you. So what are you going to do, managers, at this point to create that client trust? If you cannot create societal trust as an organization because, you know, oh, I'll have to look at my boss. I have to look at Henry C. to do that. Uh, sorry, Henry C. Jr. Or, you know, or, or our, all our bosses to do that for us because we're so small at this point or i'm just you know a, a low level manager at this point but what can my department do to create societal trust can you do it in the name of the company or can you do it just wala lang, not to be recognized but just to do something that's good that um, speaks of your company's ano, ha, values and even you as an employee Emma, if there was a story diba, na parang sa satila mm-hmm. ng jeep mm-hmm. but the person was wearing the uniform of that company so again, no, if you do a good deed and they know that you're from this company, kahit isipin mo that you're just one, one employee out of the thousands you go to of your uh, the employees in your company, mm-hmm. you can still have that society, in, get that trust. get that societal trust, no, because yeah. you carry the brand of your company. Yeah. Meron ako isang client na company who said, you know, important sa amin yung malasakit, kasama sa values namin yun. Mm-hmm. But why is it, Karel, that when our company was in was experiencing good times we did not see malasakit all the more that our company is experiencing bad times we cannot see malasakit so very important for us to, to go for trust okay now organizational trust your people trust your company now ito yan may maganda sinabi si RR kanina because right now when you tell people that we are unstable and okay we have to close down or you know all of these things there is a very important factor about your track record as a leader for yeah. people to trust you um, it's very important that people trust you now because whatever you say will affect them, right? The thing is you also need to consider that whatever you say now, how your people will receive that is a product of how you have been communicating with them even yes. before this uh, incident happened. Uh, if you were able to instill that trust in them during the good times, during the care. bad times, that, mm. that you care, you've shown that you have enough Funds, ang tawag namin dyan, pondo, no? Bank account. Nag-deposit ka ba? Have you deposited enough funds uh, dun sa love bank or sa relationship bank ninyo? I mean, ako, uh, personally, I'd like to tell the story that ako, when I give feedback to someone, even if it's not uh, a very good feedback, I'm very straightforward But because I can do that because even if I'm very straightforward and people can get hurt, um, I'm still responsible for that communication. But, they know that when I say that, it's coming from uh, a, place a place of love. love. And paano, 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 how can I be assured that it's coming from, that they receive it that way? I think I've inst- I've uh, developed that kind of relationship with them. Mm-hmm. So it's important to me that you know I always communicate with them that I care about you and I'm only doing this to make you better. Mm-hmm. Look, at your, look at your track record. But then again, Kung hindi maganda yung track record mo in the past of communicating, you know, now is the time. Now is the time to really step up and say, you know, if in the past, you know, very I don't good. have a very good track record. Thank you, Rose Ann. Yes, Rose It's Anne. the emotional, emotional bank, bank account. account. Thank you so much. So you have to have that emotional bank account with people so that when you give them something that is, you know, a bad news, you, you're doing a withdrawal. But you've made enough deposits, so it's really that. The, it's really the emotional bank account that you've invested in people, and when they know that you really care, when you know, when people really know who you are, and when you say this, if they know that it breaks your heart, they ang, know. Ang gande, kasi para they also know that it's not a put on. That in in in, in at, at work and even outside of work, you're that you're that type of person. 
Oo, oh, kasi if you're the type of person na, oh, eto ah, sorry ah, kasi sabi ng management, eh, no work, no pay. So, isa ka dun sa kasama sa no work, no pay. Di ba para sad dun yun? Where is the compassion? Nasa yung compassion. Where is the compassion? Uh, well, ibalik natin yung reference na, ano, ito one class na yan. <laughs> Where do we see that? Di ba? Kasi, there's a big struggle, no? Like, how do we uh, expand this? Or do I care for the people? There was a scene, sorry, merong mga spoilers, but... Taiwan. Oo, uh, Spoilers sa ito yung class. Uh, na dapat i-fire yung... Mag-fire siya dapat ng isang employee. employee. Pero ang ginawa niya, instead of firing, yeah. ang ginawa niya was, uh, okay, that's twice her salary. If you want to work here, you will work twice as hard. Mayamang kasi siya. Oo oh, eh. Malalim yung pack. Yung pack <laughs> yun, 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 yun. investment kasi, guys. Oh, nawala yung yeah. step. Okay, And then lang. the last thing that I would want to talk about is... Ay, nawala. Okay, oh, sige. Entire screen. Hello. PowerPoint. Okay lang. Salda ka okay, muna. Yeah. So, the the last thing that we would want to talk about and in the, according to Gallup, is hope. Hope daw. Um, the leader should display hope. Ang hirap eh, kasi lalo na sa panahon ngayon, if you're hopeless oh. and helpless, it's so hard. How do we draw hope in a leader who is also going through stuff right now. So, um, I'm the first person to probably jump in on this, you know, like mm-hmm. in our organization to really just say, you know, I'm, I want a better future. Maybe this challenge is telling us to reconsider how we're doing things right now. Mm-hmm. And in the midst of a conversation that we had with our team, with our mancom, R R was a little weird. He was excited and positive, and I'm like, yeah, sure, good that you have that kind of mindset. And he's hyper and excited. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> pero he, the, I'm normally like I'm the realistic. Then let's look at the parang the worst case scenario. But I don't know. For that day, I don't know. Ako lang yung, Something's going wrong. I don't know. Na nakikita nila yung desktop ko. So, nakikita niyo kung gaano kakalat yung desktop. Okay. Kung okay. natin pag-usapan niya, kasi leadership yung nakuusapan natin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, game ka na. Okay. Ayan. So, we're going to talk about now the, the open inspiration. So, si RR, sobrang siyang excited. And he's like, I don't know, but I feel like we're being guided. Yeah, I have that, anyway, I have that uh, belief that Um, ako, as a person, parang even before I ask ask for anything, it's given to me. And if it's not something that I want, pero binigay sa akin, kailangan matutunan ko yun. And I think it's also the same for our organization. And even here, no, with this situation, as people, bakit nangyari sa atin to? And somehow, nawawala sa akin yung bigat, yung burden, yeah. and makes me cope better because, you know, I, this is teaching us something. I think, guys, hope and inspiration comes from faith. Yeah, and it has to come from faith. Whatever it is that you believe in, of course, <laughs> okay. 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 okay, so um, it's really faith that there is something here and that you are not given something that you cannot handle. I've always believed that, you know, um, and our wisdom and our understanding is quite limited. So we have to seek the wisdom, the understanding, and lean on to that. The wisdom and understanding of God. I, I, I have to go there because um, that gives me hope. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. There is still a solution. If I am helpless at this moment in my life, how can I give hope to my people? So one of the things that can help people have hope and inspiration is to create alternatives. For example, there is a problem in your organization. What are the other alternatives that you can have? Like what I've said, we had to do a salary cut. We had to cut budgets in different things. We had to hold off a lot of things. We, you know, we had to break our piggy banks, you know, our financial piggy banks, so that we can have alternatives for our people. We had to look at different business models. Like in the future, we are going to come up with uh, a multi-platform learning wherein our live training programs that you have been enjoying for the past how many years will now be combined with on-demand training wherein you can just click and then we can use Zoom, face to face also also still live engagements a hundred thousand people. You know, we can do multi-platforms and 
And we were thinking, oh, then we can do more of HR work, digital HR work. Uh, we can do surveys. We can do studies of your organization. So big lang lumake yung alternatives, and we realized we will survive this. We can find a way to survive yeah. this. And then how do you use words to inspire? How do you use words to inspire your team? You know, whenever we meet as a team, I, I love that my team prays. And I love that we have little pockets of prayer groups in the organization. So even in threads, uh, even yeah, when different kinds in, of threads. on FB Messenger, we have prayer warriors. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know, before going on this streaming, uh, live streaming, you know, I have to pray. I have to ask, how will I be used? How will I be a steward of this resource, yeah. of this time, of this precious time that you're giving us right now for, for you to listen? We're stewards of these few minutes, you know, so... How can we utilize that to give hope and inspiration to people? Manage your own state. Look at yourself. Trust yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. Have that stability so that your people can be hopeful. They look at you with hope. But, there's a but. 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 Next but. slide. Okay, but. But. What if your company is facing instability? And Invalid. A lot. A lot are going Valid yan. Um, We don't know how we will survive. Three months. Six months. What if you have people bitching up? Ayan, maganda yung question. Yeah, yung question na yun. Pagka nagbibitch up. Where is that? What Ayan, si am I April gonna break natin. say? How do I communicate? So, ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. Can you say idea? Huh? Idea. Sige, say idea. I have an idea. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. May sound effect tayo. May sound effect tayo. <laughs> and this is a very good framework. As I've said, it is a script framework that you can utilize even in talking to your people when they're bitching up, complaining, dealing with uncertainty. You have to tell people that it's work. No work, no pay. You have to tell people that your company is shutting down or you just received word from someone and then you have to tell your people that there's no future, that a lot of people will lose their jobs, and a lot of people have been, you know, and that's a reality, and that is a very, very sad reality, that in the next year, it'll be difficult for us to survive this, that we need to tighten on our belts. Those are realities. So how do we communicate? And as I've said, there is an idea. Letter I. Okay. Okay, idea. This is the framework. Okay. So, letter I is for intent. When you communicate with people, give the intention. Give the intention. What charity uh, do you want to donate to? Huh? What? Si Alexa, si Alexa, what, what, si Alexa. What charity do you want to donate to? Wait, lang, Alexa, I will not donate yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, stop. <No. laughs> okay, so, have the intent in communicating first. Uh, like, my intention is to make sure that you're okay. Or my intention is to communicate with you our, our standing as an organization. My intent is to share with you steps and plans on how we can survive this. My intent with you is to, um, to provide alternatives so that we can survive this together. So intention, intention, intention. This is good for kids. My intention for you is to, for you to learn, to be more responsible. For my husband, my intention is for you to know how much I love you. I'm doing this, I'm saying this because my intention is to share with you that I care and that I love you. <laughs> okay, okay. So give the intent. Because sometimes the brain, if I go back to neuroscience, the brain seeks for that uh, pattern the frame, the intention. If not, it fills in the blanks. It fills in the blanks. That's what we call neural lags. If the tendency of the brain is to go, if you say, I'm going to talk to you now, I'm going to say something. Even before you say something, the brain is going fast-paced, thinking, the brain is doing that. So set the intention and set the frame so that they get to focus their brain, their attention is towards that frame that you've set. If you do not set the intention or the frame, or some people call it the agenda, but I like it in them. Uh, I like... The agenda because it can be a schedule. Yeah, it's a But intention because it's intention. Uh, the reason for yeah, doing the, this. The reason is that uh, we want to be able to help you at this time. 
or we want to share with you the truth about what's happening at this time. So, after the intent is you describe, describe objectively. You know, this is what's happening. Describe. I, I would like to ask you to be transparent. Be transparent. Why it's pointless to lie. Right? You, you keep their hopes up. Now, hope is important, but please be truthful. If you do not give them hope for something that is a lie. If you're working on something, say we're working on something, but it has to be truthful. Um, describe. How do you describe? Describe the things that you are experiencing. Describe your company situation. Describe the department situation. Whatever it is, describe it. Then empathize. I know how you feel. I get how you feel. I get where you're coming from. I know you have a kid. I know you have a family and a lot of things are worrying you right now. I get it. Now, assure them. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And let me share what we can do together. These are the things and the tips that we can do to make things work at this moment or this is what we can do kung wala talaga maybe to seek government help government support sss dole pag ibig fund kung ano man ang other leaders other leaders or your own sometimes people can may mga cooperatives in your office in in the office may mga nagsa suggest can we put in money like a thousand pesos and then you know each person can just have that and people can borrow from that you know i don't know what your solutions may be but provide and share alternatives and a commitment. What's that commitment? I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be praying for you. I'm here holding you by the hand. I'm here in the same boat as you. We're gonna be here together. If the company is stop is ending, and then you see, you know, I, 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 um, I will try to help you. Make sure that you know your next few months. I can help you in the next few months or in the next few steps that we would have to deal with. Um, that you would have to deal with, knowing that our company is closing down. You know. Help them get there. Help your managers help their people on the next steps. Hindi po ede na pag sinabi mo, shut down na tayo, hindi tayo makakasurvive, we'll remove people. You do not give them steps of what they're going to do after. That is heartless. So you have to be able to give them what else, what can they do. Maybe look for other alternatives for them too. Um, other options for them too. Uh, an emergency fund, an emergency cash fund. If you cannot give them a, 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 um, a no, a for, forced leave or you know an advance, maybe you know just find a way to give them an emergency fund or a loan even that they can pay when able. But anyway, I'm just saying those are possible ideas to share. But go for intent. If a person's bitching up, then you can say my intention is to help you out right now with how you're feeling now you're saying this describe things you're you're saying this you're saying that of course i get that too i really wish you know our company has all of that and you know they would give us everything i really want that too and i assure you if they do if the company has that they will we know that that's an experience you know that they've been giving so much to us if there is no organizational trust it's going to be difficult you can say you know our company is doing the best that that they can, you know, that the, the, that it can, so that we can survive this. And being able to survive this means that we all get to keep our jobs longer. And I would like to assure you that, you know, if there is a way that I can help, you know, just assure. Because sometimes a person bitches up, they just need someone to listen. They just need someone to hear them. And that it's okay. It's okay to be worried. It's okay. I'm here for you. It's that's why the compassion is there. It's okay to be weirded out by what's happening. Um, the overwhelm is coming from that. I feel weird that I'm worried. Yesterday, RR had to deal with a person with a panic attack on the phone. Yeah. On Facebook Messenger, rather. And it's and this person's like, Do I have COVID? Do I have COVID? You know, it's it's and it's real and it's okay. You're not crazy for feeling that way. So if you're bitching up, then you have to know how to deal with that. Now, if you're the leader and you need to bitch, bitch up, bitch up, um, bitch up, tell God why, or bitch up to your manager. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, bitch up, and um, and it's okay. Find your, find also your source of hope. Find also your sources of inspiration. Find your source of stability 
if it's your kid, if it's a hug from my husband that's a source of my stability, go ahead. If uh, you need to look for um, uh, trust as well, you know, seek how you can trust yourself more and also seek how you can have more compassion uh, for yourself and for others. So that yes. is my thank you. And then Oh, okay. Yeah, one hour and a time. One hour and a two. So, siguro, last three things that I want to say is, as a leader, be transparent yet compassionate. If I'm going to talk about numbers, I need to put heart in that. What will it mean to people? When I started talking in our organization, when our general manager, everyone in the team started talking to every, to all the employees in our town halls, they had to say, how is this COVID affecting our company? The way we work, the way we do things. So that they know. Be realistic and yet you have to be realistic. Uh, I think it's just like expect the worst, prepare. Okay. Eh, hope for the worst. Hope for the best. Okay. Expect the worst. Okay. Kaya namin to guys. Kaya namin. Malapit na one hour. Be realistic. <laughs> be realistic. What do we hope for? Oh, ito meron from Itaewon na sabi. Uh, successful business values its people. Yes, that's true. That's, that's why we go back to compassion. So, ano yung last na sinabi uh, natin? It's essential that your people, people know that their leader is coming from, from a place, place of love. love. RR is my example of high trust relationship kasi diretso siya, pero alam mo, mahal ka niya. Siyempre, alam kong yun yung nakasulat, nilagay ko lang para sa akin. <laughs> so, from J- thank you, Michelle, by the way. Uh, JJ, self-trust. If you don't trust yourself, no one else will. If you see a silver lining, boy, silver lining, positive or positivity, on difficult times, when you get self-trust, others trust, clients trust. And guys, remember, ladies and gentlemen, leaders out there, you are people of influence. Nakakahawa ka. So if you see the silver lining, you're, you're right, JJ, if you see the silver lining in this situation, you are training your people to see the silver lining too. If you see nothing but complaints, nothing but negativity, your people will see the same thing. Children see, children do. You know, you are, you are samples and models, yeah. examples and models of people. Ayun, sabi ni Rocky, ito na yun. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. Yun pala yun. Ayun. At saka si Tina Lindo, sinabi na niya kung ano yan. Yes and. I know. Ayun. I love, I love what, what he taught, taught us about what? yes and mindset. Works well in health. Transition from em- empathy stage. Yeah, you, ad- you accept it. Yes, I get it. Yes, tanggap ko yan. Again, it's okay. You know, and when people are saying, I'm grieving. Like the other day, Pinky, our GM, posted that her son is supposed to graduate from Ateneo. Congratulations, Alonzo. I mean, he's supposed to march, but he's not. And it's upsetting. And yes, yes, I get that a lot of people are grieving for missed celebrations, missed opportunities, missed times. I had a person who posted and he said, she said that, you know, her her father died and she could not even be there at the funeral. Tragic, tragic. And yes, we get it. And I try to see it with as much compassion when I talk to people because I am talking to a human being. I don't know, um, even as a leader, even as their manager, um, the first thing when I communicate with them, what helps me is I talk to them as friends first. Or as humans first. Parang wala mo ng trabaho. Um, kunot, 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 uh, just for example, during the situation, parang survival first. How are you? Uh, how are you coping? Uh, what What do you do for food? Uh, what do you do in the house? Uh, when you're bored, ganyan. And then we go to uh, work-related items. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what helps me, I think. Mm-hmm. Sabi ni Arlene na barete mga liyag, Yes. Are Be you kind in? and show respect always. Magaling siguro to, no? Siguro HR yan. HR yan. <laughs> so, kasi nga, there, there are so many people having difficulty. No food. No supplies. So difficult. To even get eggs. It was so hard. Manap ng itlog. Just go, pagdating pa ng itlog, basag pa yung dalawa. <laughs> so, mahirap. Yung ka namin ganyan, yung sobrang simple, pero hindi ka makalabas kasi bawal or hindi pwede. So, if you are facing those things and yet you have people who are disrespectful, unkind, people you work with, showing and displaying unkindness and disrespect, man. Um, understand sucks. them because mahirap naman talaga yung situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, wag na tayong dumagdag. And I, pero 
pag pag ganun, pag mayroong mga taong ruthless and mean and disrespectful, siguro take na lang the higher ground and yep. be compassionate and say, Hirap, no? <laughs> probably in pain. You know, yeah. Kasi a person is hurtful when, sorry Mike, a person is hurtful when they're hurting. Oh, sure. And right hurt now, we're hurting. Hurt. We're hurting. So as a nation, as a people, we're hurting. How do we deal with the hurt? Ito, sabi ni Julius, I think the bottom line for this is we should be prepared in all times in order for us to survive. Um, I read an article this morning, uh, the difference between Singapore and the Philippines. No? Uh, because of SARS, I think, uh, because prepared. of that, uh, they prepared really well. And dahil nangyari na nga to, they have all of the resources now. They have a center uh, that's specially for like mga ganitong diseases. And they're not panicking. Tayo, since hindi naman talaga tayo nadatna ng SARS at that time, parang we didn't really prepare enough. And again, that's why we're saying this is unprecedented for us. But for some people, they're prepared. Yeah. Uh, and the reason for the people that I coach, no, um, usually the panic comes from not no. having uh, that resource to be strong enough, to be courageous enough, to be safe enough. no. So, um, you know, I think now that we've learned this, tama si Julius, that we need to be able to prepare so that next time this happens, mas kaya na natin. So, ladies and gentlemen, this live stream, this live telecast broadcast yeah. is really for the purpose of preparing you in communication whenever you have to communicate it takes practice to and keep on you know um learning how to communicate better with others i hope may napulot kayo uh, somehow because uh tuloy pa rin naman ang tabao. we're working from home you are talking to your people and there are a lot of things that you need to uh, consider no, the tonality, the trust, the... Yeah. The, so to, to maybe to wrap up, yeah, sure. Gallup says you have to communicate with compassion. You have to communicate stability. You have to communicate um, trust and hope. So those are the most important things that your people are looking for at this time. Humanity. Uh, and um, to as you deliver and talk about numbers, remember the human beings behind... Uh, behind every employee number and uh maybe to be able to prepare you in communicating in this covid times in this crisis remember to have the idea i is for intent d is to describe the situation being as transparent as possible get compassionate have empathy that covers the compassion i believe have the empathy to accept where people are coming from their pain and then assure them in however way that you can assure them if you cannot, cannot provide financial help and assistance how can you assure them in some other way like helping them out being their friend and most of the managers here have direct access to these people top managers top people top bosses owners don't even have access to these people so managers you are at the forefront in communicating that assurance and then finally is to be able to share share next steps share commitments share things that you can do together share how you can help uh, so that you know if you have assured them what can you do what can be done ask them for what they can do as well so that you give back to your people that capability to be empowered at this time you as a leader you need to be empowered because your influence is strong but in the end what is important whether your employee stays with you or not whether they have to move on because your organization is falling apart or not that you are able to be a good steward of these people and that they get to leave or move on move on from this or move away from this more empowered you are at the forefront of that and we would hope that these things that we've just said were helpful and useful hope that you can um, improve your influence on your people give that hope give that inspiration so that they can come out of this more empowered more at the cost of things um more uh Positive. More time. More time. <laughs> okay, thank so you. So with that, thank you very so much. So uh, Thank you to Michelle. Uh, Je, uh, thank you. Always a pleasure learning from you. Thank you also for uh, tuning in. Yes, uh, yes. Ron, seek first to understand, then be understood. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Good habit. Uh, Jeffrey, congratulations. Thank you. For the new learning. Oh, we're glad. We're yes. glad. Na kang nakuha. For everyone, a great session from Miss Hyde. Miss Hyde, thank you, thank you, you very much. More than 
uh, the valuable insights. You both exude the positive energy and perspective that we badly need in these trying yes. times. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Thank Hayes. you, Ms. Hayes. Hope to hear from you soon again. Um, thank you so much for initiating this live webinar uh, and for keeping Martin. us inspired and, and empowered. Our pleasure. Thank you. Again, we can't reach you face to face. We're doing what we can. Uh, again, because a lot of people need resources now, and I think there's something to share. We have something to share, and we have something that can help people. So why not? Let's yeah. put it out there. Uh, na lang natin yan. <laughs> and if you need us, you know, to put things online, to do customized training programs for you, we're just here. We're a uh, message away. From uh, ayan na, umiyak na yung anak namin. Oh. Work from home! So it means Jackie. also na time na rin kasi gumisi niya. <laughs> Jackie says thank you, thank you also Jackie. Ganda ng lipstick, Viva Glam. Uh, Miss Chofi, I see it's Chofi. Thank you Miss Cardell and Sir RR. Yes. So again, um, we'll see you on Friday. We'll have another uh, episode on Friday. But it's about, going to be about uh, dealing with overwhelm, anxiety, and panic. Okay. So ayan, kung narinig niyo yung anak namin, ayan, kailangan ko na episode na yan to deal with <laughs> overwhelm. <laughs> so we'll try to do a parenting episode also. So see you all next week. From the Central uh, Bernada, thank you.